Hello viewers, this is Nation Voice Tower. My name is Angelo, your anchor. In as much as um, we're gearing towards uh, the announcement of um, the judgment or the final judgment by the tribunal soon, we hope for the best. We hope for less casualties because um, information reaching us is saying lots of youths really want to protest and um, that is the right thing to do yes we support the protest in all forms and in all ramifications all right so um we're going to see um or we pray that there will be less uh, concern from all these security operatives because we don't want anything to happen to any youth we don't want that not now we are trying to fight and take back our country um legally so we don't want um such issues well but um, we will still be talking about the tribunal peripherally. Uh, let's see what happens. Now, um, a group, a very, very serious group, so serious, a very serious group known as the Coalition for the Protection of Democracy, COP Dem, has issued a note of warning. I am impressed by this group because they have taken the bull by the horn. They have summoned up courage to face the Nigerian police force to face the federal government, to face other security agencies. The note of warning that was issued by this group to the federal government and the security operatives, especially the DSS and the Nigerian police force, was overwhelming. I am so, so impressed. Let me allow you to watch that video so that you will know that lots of people have taken this tribunal so important just as it's supposed to be because um, Nigeria must be... Um, safe. Nigeria must um, be renewed. Nigeria must um, face um, the good part, all right? And by doing that, we will start with good governance. And the courts cannot decide for Nigeria who should actually be um, the leader of Nigeria because um, being a leader enhances or comes from or it's, um, it's as a result of, of the will of the people, not the will of the judiciary. Stay tuned for that video so that you will listen to the group known as the Coalition for the Protection for Democracy. I love this group because this press conference will blow your mind. Stay tuned. We are pained to note that the Nigerian government has a penchant for silencing the voices of the people crying for a new Nigeria. We are bad governance, executive and legislative lawlessness, political rascality, and judicial ineffectiveness will be non-existent. The frustrated youths who have lost hope in uh, Nigeria today, particularly the rulership of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, are constantly subjected to imminent harm. On the 20th of March, 2023, at the instance of an independent consultancy organization, Governance Index, a group of patriotic Nigerians formulated a protest action, a protest action plan for the sole purpose of condemning the blatant display of lawlessness by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, and the APC-led federal government in the just concluded February 25 and March 18, 2023 presidential and governorship elections, respectively, and demand Hello? And demanding the practice of true democratic principles. Unfortunately, the strategy document fell into the hands of the Nigerian police. Sorry for that break in transmission. I think it was as a result of a glitch from our beavers. <laughs> the police imposed a freeze order purportedly issued by a court 
on Governance Index Bank account and declared the directors of Governance Index wanted. Notably, a careful review of and due diligence on the purported freeze order revealed that the mandate upon which the police place a post no debit order on the organization's bank account was not prayed for by the police and was not ordered by the court. In a motion before the magistrate court, the police never prayed for placing a post no debit order on our client's account and none was granted. Certified true copies. Certified true copies of the order prayed for and granted by the court was obtained by us. There is a manifest difference between the order made on the 4th of April 2023 and what was purportedly procured on the 5th of April 2023 and issued to freeze the bank account. In other words, the police used a fraudulent magistrate court order to perpetuate no debit on an account holders on an account holders account yet all efforts to date to lift the freezing uh, the freezing order on the account have been unsuccessful again on saturday the 20th of august 2023 the Coalition for the Protection of Democracy, COPDEM, condemned the arrest, condemned the arrest of seven people, including Mr. Chigozie, Ifai Chuku, the convener of Up North Ambassadors, uh, Up North Ambassadors for Peter Obi and the brutalization of five others by security agents. I take that again so that we are all on the same page. On Sunday, the 20th of August, 2023, the Coalition for the Protection of Democracy, COPDEM, condemned the arrest of uh, seven people, including Mr. Chigoze Faichuku, the convener of Up North Ambassadors for Peter Obi. Yes, welcome back. The Nigerian police force and other security operatives should be mindful of whatever they are doing um, on on uh, on this um, final judgment day. That is um, any moment from now, because um, the truth remains that. We can't continue to be having um, security operatives that are used as a tool in order to inflict frustration and um, to inflict suffering on the masses. All right, the police brought an update earlier warning anybody who would engage in anything or any sort of protest that um, would uh, uh, seem to be, you know, confusion linked or would seem to be very problematic. The DSS have also issued such a warning, but that wouldn't deter us, the youths, from going to witness what we want to witness and from protesting. After all, protest is part of the Nigerian constitution. So let's hope that things go as planned. Now, um, secondly, I would like to draw our attention to something very, very important. An individual, a very, very respected man from the North, National Coordinator of the Concerned Stakeholders Forum, engineer Daniel Balarebe Gambo, has challenged Nigerians to rise and take back their country. Of course, enough is enough. This particular message from this man, engineer Daniel, 
is so strong because he is one of the voices that could be heard when you talk about democracy, stable governance, and the welfare of the people from the north central and the northwestern part of Nigeria. Let us watch this man and listen to the strong motivational message he dropped for all Nigerians and the youths alike in respect of the final judgment of the tribunal. Stay tuned. Um, we are flabbergasted, we are disturbed, we are worried because all is not well and will not be well until the right thing is done. Um, I don't want to talk about what happened uh, during the past election because everybody is aware that everything went wrong from the uh, uploading of results to the announcement of and declaring of the winner. Uh, and then now we are just about to get the verdict of the tribunal. Um, we are very worried because from all uh, that is being said in the social media and the mainstream media, it's like people have already preempted the judges that they are going to either declare Peter um, uh, Tinubu as the winner or they will cancel the election that we know who the rightly winner is and go into either a rerun or a total um, replay of the election. Nigerians, we are tired. Nigerians, we have had enough. If we look at what is happening around Nigeria and you see what are the triggers, they have not endured one-tenth of what we have passed through in the last, not just eight years, the 16 years of PDP and the eight years of APC and what we are just going through within these four months that this government has come into power. Enough is enough. We want the truth and we want to live by the truth and we want to be governed by the truth. We have had enough. Enough of the lies, enough of the treasury, enough of the stealing, enough of the plundering of our common wealth. Now it is time for Nigerians to take ownership of their own fate. We cannot continue to stand idle and allow ruffians and allow people who really shouldn't govern us be governing us. Please, Nigerians, we are concerned. A lot of us who are above the age of 60, who have seen what was in the 70s as pupils in primary school, as students in secondary school, know exactly that something is wrong. And we must correct that thing. Otherwise, we are at the threshold of being exterminated as citizens, as people out of the face of the earth because hunger is now in the land. People are dying because they don't have food to eat. People are now eating what they have, not balanced meal. They just have to just eat something to stay alive for the day. Some don't even have those things that they want to eat to just stay alive for the day. Yes, the man was very, very sincere there. That is how it should be done. Enough is enough. We've had lots of criminals ruling the country over time. We've had, you know, bad governance. We've had policies that are not helping Nigerians, all right? So we don't want to be part of all these African countries that are neighboring, that have um, revolted over time. But um, the way the country is going, I don't know what the, um, this federal government is planning. We brought you updates that um, they had a secret meeting with um, security operatives. Uh, that is um, the service chiefs that are in charge of various security outfits. And I don't, well, I don't see any reason to hold that meeting because if this man, Bola Tenobu, was duly elected by the citizens of Nigeria, that means there will, there will have been no reason to have any meeting from security operatives or any warning from the DSS or the Nigerian police force. This should be able to tell people and those in the international community that this election was flawed and indeed this judgment may be flawed. So let's hope that things go as planned too. That is our prayer always. Finally, Sabode George, a PDP chieftain, has actually spoken as regards the ongoing petition in court. Yes, talking about the presidential elections petitions tribunal. Everybody is talking about it because people have sensed that the, the judiciary and the tribunal may go against um, justice. They may, they may finally subvert the course of justice. So people are speaking out. 
Now, Thabo the judge went further to say that the court shouldn't be used to determine our leaders all the time because people are actually used to determine leaders, not the court. Hence, the reason why he said um, the leaders should be determined by the will of the people, not by the will of the court or by the will of five panel tribunal. Please watch Pablo the judge say his mind. This man was so, so unhappy. I have never seen him in this mood. Stay tuned. And I want to appeal. I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. But I have my common sense. And I am, you know, uh, 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 asking purely on moral suasion purposes. Democracy is about the will of the people. The government of the people, for the people, by the people. Selecting the choice of who should be president, who should be governor, who should be senator, who should be House of Rep member, or should never be through the courts. You know, in this setup, there are three arms of government. They are equal arms, but independent. Now, if one of them now decides on our behalf who should be president, who should be governor, it is it's un, it's unheard of. It's absolutely shambolic. How would it be? The 200 million people, about 60 million people voted, and then three or four or five or six or seven will now decide the winner of the election. I, 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 I don't know whatever uh, the, the, the grammar and uh, these same people live in our society, the, the lawyers and all that, playing and getting so humongous amount of money for displaying and tell, talk, telling us about the, the, the technicalities, the what. What we know for real is that the election was shambolic. It did not go through the process as defined by the law. It did not go through the process as defined by the INEC themselves. So I am hoping that the Almighty God will walk in the minds of these justices, these judges, to come up, tell INEC, INEC is the, is the moderator of the election, go back and redo the election, to make sure the process is just, the process is fair, and the process is justifiable. If they cannot meet it, sack them and get new people to, 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 to manage the election. But for judges to decide on the will of the people or through whatever grammar they will give us will, will be a, a, a setting this nation back. We, 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 you forgot the 12 2 thought saga? When we had 19 states, they came up with stories about how 12 two thirds should be three, uh, about two, two thirds of a state or not a state, all kinds of technicalities. Where did that lead us as a nation? Let's get off from this doom of hell and go to, to, to join the civilized people in the world. God has so given this nation so much mineral resources in every part, human resources in every part. Look at all developed countries in the world. You hear about Nigerians who are experts here, experts there. They are all over. Why can't we do something for ourselves? All right. You've watched the video there, and um, everybody is just speaking of the same thing. Everyone is speaking of the same thing. These people are playing with Nigeria. These people are toiling with the brains of Nigeria. These people are toiling with the future and the present of Nigerians. These people don't want the welfare or the progress of citizens of Nigeria. They just want to enrich themselves and enrich their pockets to a high degree. Hence, the reason why Sabo the judge has come out to talk directly to the tribunal because he feels somehow that there is a glitch somewhere as regards what the tribunal may say on that judgment day, which is very, very soon. Please, let us hope that things work as planned. I will draw our attention to the speech of um, the first person or the first object I gave you the speech from that group known as the Coalition for the Protection of Democracy, COPDEM.
there was a part when the speaker said sorry there was a glitch from the beavers <laughs> yes that message was for prophet mahmoud yakubu so that you will know that nigerians are indeed aware of what he did on the 25th day of february 2023 and on the first day of march 2023 please like our videos share them don't forget to drop a comment for us in the comment section and please if you're watching me for the first time tap the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you would always have an information anytime i drop a new video please watch till the end because it is very very important thank you 